fluency is really the ability to understand the words on the page and be able to uh, read those words in kind of an easy way so that um, you gain understanding of what the author is trying to say. It's important for third grade because we go from the primary grades where they're really essentially learning how to read and in the intermediate grades uh, they're using reading to learn. So for third grade we're kind of that bridge year where we're going from learning to read to being fluent readers. And so the more practice we can give with being fluency and being fluent readers, the better our kids will be. Well, uh, about two years ago when our focus was the reading fluency, what we looked at was how do we assess the kids? And we had to assess them by listening to them read out loud. And that proved to be a, um, take a lot of time. And I tried it with parents, but what I like to do is I actually like to listen to the kids. So I had the iPods, so I figured why not use the iPods and have the, the students actually record themselves using the iPods. And that, that worked out great for me because I could listen to it on my own time. It actually turned out to be really good for them as well because um, with the iPod, one, they were motivated to use it, and then secondly, they were more comfortable uh, with talking and reading out loud because they weren't doing it in front of a, an adult. And with the digital cameras, we, we've actually used uh, taking pictures of characters. Our first unit this year uh, focuses on characters and setting, and I had the kids make characters, and we're using those characters to make stop motion movies related to the vocabulary. So it's a great way to integrate it with the curriculum and also motivate the students. The importance of technology in, in elementary schools uh, is it's just part of business uh, in 21st century learning. Uh, kids come to school prior to kindergarten already knowing um, more than many of us adults do uh, at the current state. So technology isn't something that is this tool off in a corner. It suffuses everything students and staff do and it's a, it's a tool in which students learn from, interact with, and it's what they've grown up with. To me technology is an important teaching tool because it, for one it's motivating for the students to use the technology but what I like to do is actually get them to instead of being consumers of technology like watching movies or listening to music or um, playing video games, I like that to shift it so that they're actually creating the media. Uh, they have to be collaborative, they have to work together, they have to communicate, they have to problem solve, and so the, all of those things become very important learning mechanisms for the 21st century, and I think those are skills they can take with them for a lifetime.